Okay, people have asked for a little bit more detail. So this is our Old Town Tripper. And uh, they're symmetrical hulls, both of these bolts, which means that the same front to back is back to front, as far as the bolt shape. So usually when you solo them, you paddle from the front seat, and you just turn around. That still leaves you a fair bit away from the middle of the boat. There's some advantages to being in the middle. So I put another kneeling cord in there. And this is kind of neat because on this boat, you can sit in comfort. And uh, then when you're in some rapids, you can come to the kneeling port. And uh, we go to one side a little bit. And uh, you're able to get your center of gravity very low. Well, still taking a lot of the weight off of your knees. You've got very little entrapping the wrist because there's a fair bit of room between your feet. So that's very safe and you're very low. So that is the kneeling thwart and you make the kneeling thwart so that it's slightly angled and it's really comfortable. So I could do that all day and the Canadian way of doing this is to be to one side. You actually reduce the size of the boat you give yourself more rocker automatically and you turn this more into like a solo craft and even a even a 17 foot 6 prospector which will take 1300 pounds becomes a bit of a solo boat so that's the kneeling thwart uh, the kneeling thwart is back far enough here I'm not too worried about an entrapment hazard of the uh, center carrying yoke we also put the kneeling thwart in this little prospector, and this makes a, a dandy uh, a boat for a solo. But uh, you've now got two spots. You could go backwards if you got weight, and go from your front and paddle it backwards, or you can use this kneeling thwart. So the problem with the kneeling thwart, if I went either side is it gets too close to the center. So we now have an entrapment hazard with this center. So we made this quick detachable. And we're just using trailer hitch pins. We got one that's a little bit People ask for more detail on how this, how this worked. So again, it's a hinge just screwed onto there. These uh, hitch pins go through the hinge, and on this side, if you go down, is the other end of the of that hinge. So they just fit in like that. I don't know. Can you see that, Jane? You need to get lower. No, nope, it's good. Okay. So that that goes in and that goes out with uh, without much problem. And again, this hitch pin here is a little bit too much diameter, so it's a little hard to get in. But we'll show you again how that happens. So, put this in to fit. And we put that hitch pin in. There we go. And then we go to the other side. And we'll move this up. And we put that hitch pin in. It is, and it's quite solid in there. So you can use it with a kneeling thwart. With that removed from the front seat backwards, or as a tandem canoe. And uh, the last thing I have to do is, uh, since the boy's going off to university, I'm starting to think there's some advantages to this boat with a side mounted motor. So I'm going to try some different motor mounts for my two and a half Suzuki. And I'm going to figure out whether I need to do it from here, going the other way, which I think might be the best, with a little bit of an extension, or from the back. The back
back, the problem is you got a lot of weight back there. So uh, anyway, we'll play with that around, with making a little uh, a little motor mount. And uh, but right now these boats are now set up for tandem use or solo use. And uh, quite happy with that. Quite happy with how well that plan came together. Um, it's really. That's really, really quite good. And maybe you can just show the angles of these kneeling forks. So you'll see how they angle that way. And it really makes quite a comfortable, quite a comfortable seat. So this one I have up higher. This one I put a little lower, and I'm not sure which I like the best. I think this less angle is a little better, but that's good enough. I'm not going to redo it. I'll paddle them for a while and see how it is. And when I'm well satisfied, we'll put some more foam in for full-time kneeling pads. Until, uh, until I'm satisfied with the testing, I'll just use this temporary kneeling pad right here which is more made for gardening. Thanks, son. Thanks for watching.